Taking your projects to the next level is as easy as drawing a circle. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create and use a circle burst effect that will make your projects pop. With circle motion graphics, you can make simple title animations stand out incredibly fast. Hey, how's it going? This is Jordan Bertone, Sonduck Film. I hope you're having a great day today. If you're ready to create a circle burst, drop a like because it helps us out a ton, and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the most basic form of circle burst, and it's really easy to do. First, go up and select the ellipse tool. Make sure that fill is set to solid color, stroke is set to none, then hold down the shift key and click and drag to create a perfect circle. Hold down the control key, double click the pan behind tool to center the anchor point on the circle, then center the circle to the composition by navigating to the align window and aligning vertically and horizontally. Now open the shape layer, open ellipse 1, transform ellipse 1, then set a keyframe for scale, move forward a bit on the timeline, set another keyframe, then go back to the first keyframe and set the scale to 0%. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes, open the graph editor tool, then pull both sides of the curve all the way inward to smooth out the animation. Now that we have the basic scale animation, what we're going to do is highlight ellipse 1, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, then move the keyframes for ellipse 1 forward by just a couple of frames. Lastly, deselect everything, go to Add, Merge Paths, then open the Merge Paths and set the mode to Subtract. If you did it right, your shape layer will look like this, ellipse 2, ellipse 1, merge paths, and now you have a basic circle burst animation that should look something like this. Now I'm going to go back to my main composition, take the circle burst I just made and duplicate it a bunch of times, move them around, then offset them on the timeline so we have a nice set of bursts filling out the composition. If you like the style of motion graphics in this video and you want a quick and easy way to add them to your projects, with a click of a button, check out our Motion Graphics Professionals Pack. All you need to do is find a motion graphic that you like and click apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can customize it with our easy to use control layers and in no time at all you'll have an awesome custom motion graphic for your composition. You can also use the Professionals Pack to add accent motion graphics to your project easily just like the ones we're making in this video. Check out the link in the description or visit sonduckfilm.com for more info. This next burst we're going to do is also very simple, but this time we're going to do it using lines instead of ellipses. Start by selecting the pen tool. Make sure fill is set to none, stroke is set to solid color, and the stroke width is set to about 15. Then hold down the shift key, click once at the very center of the composition, and again a little bit above that to create a straight line. Now open the shape layer, select add, trim paths, set end to 0%, set a keyframe for end, move forward a bit on the timeline, and then set end to 100%. Set a keyframe for start at the beginning of the timeline, move forward a bit, set start to 100%, then offset the keyframes for start by just a couple of frames. Highlight all of the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes, then use the graph editor tool to smooth out the animation for both of the keyframes just like we did with the first circle burst. Now that we have our line animated, we're going to duplicate it by going to Add, Repeater, open Repeater 1, set the copies to 4, open Transform Repeater, set the X value of position to 0, and the rotation to 90 degrees. And now you should have this nice line burst animation that looks something like this. Now that we have our two basic burst animations complete, let's look at a couple different ways that we can combine them to make some awesome burst animations. The first thing that we can do is duplicate our line burst, press R for rotation, then rotate it to 45 degrees so it forms a circular line burst like this. We could also offset the duplicated line burst by just a few frames and now it's a bit more dynamic and has a bit more of a pop to it. I'll move this burst back, duplicate both of them, then offset those duplicates by a bit, and now we have this cool double line burst effect. 
We can also take the circle burst we made earlier and work it in by just offsetting it on the timeline as well to create this combination burst effect. And just like that, by mixing up and combining the two simple burst animations we made earlier, we've created four unique motion graphics in no time at all. The possibilities are near endless, so be sure to experiment and mess around when doing this to see what kind of cool combinations you can come up with. And now that we have all of these unique burst animations, we can fill up our composition with unique and engaging motion graphics to enhance our projects and make them stand out. And now you know how to impress your clients with circles. If you want more tutorials like this one, be sure to subscribe to the Sonduck Film YouTube channel for more post-production tutorials every week. Also hit us up on our Instagram, we have more After Effects content there, the link will be available in the description, and remember, always be creating.